All right, here we are at the Yakigani River in Ohio Pile. This is a fantastic state park. We hope you enjoy this video. White water rafting, great camping, great hiking, you name it, they've got it. Fishing, swimming, they've got it all. So thank you so much for watching and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave some comments down below, and thank you so much for watching How to Have Fun Outdoors! miles oh, in just yeah. a little over a hundred days. We rock it. Pretty awesome. Yeah. You gotta love that folks. Look at that right there. Ohio Pile State Park is located in southern Pennsylvania on the western side just southeast of Pittsburgh. Obviously, everybody in that Pittsburgh area knows Ohio Pile State Park, but if you're in Washington, Philadelphia, New York, Cleveland, Columbus, you're missing out. This is a fantastic state park, definitely worth the trip. Get on over, have some fun, do some whitewater rafting, hiking, enjoy the outdoors, and uh, we're going to show you around now on how to have fun outdoors. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share with your friends, and we hope you love this video. drill down on this beautiful state park over 19,000 acres and you've got the Yakagani River running right straight down through the middle of it tons of great falls you're gonna see there's lots of great things to do there we started off by staying at the Ohio Pile State Park the Kentuck campground beautiful in the woods beautiful sights plenty of room definitely if you're gonna come into this area try to book ahead and get a great campsite in here if you're a big Frank Lloyd Wright fan, or even if you're not, you're definitely going to want to check out some of his uh, just absolute architectural masterpieces. Falling Water, we all learned about that in school. That is gorgeous. Unfortunately, they would not allow videoing inside the house. We got some outdoor shots for you to check that out. Just an absolutely amazing site to go visit. There's also the Frank Lloyd Wright's Kentucky Knob. And then you also have other campgrounds like Scarlet Knob Campground. But boy, oh boy, is there just so much hiking to do there, fishing to do there, whitewater rafting, horse riding, you name it. This is a fantastic place to visit. And we highly recommend the Ohio Pile State Park on how to have fun outdoors. After our first night of camping at the Kentuck uh, campground, which is wonderful, we headed on over into the Frank Lloyd Wright's Falling Water, and boy was that a lot of fun. We really enjoyed that. The views were amazing. The hiking around this area were spectacular. And like I said, you weren't able to take videos inside the house, but it was remarkable. And you can see why he was such a genius. Uh, but the surrounding areas are fantastic. And then from there, we headed over to the park, and uh, boy, did we have a lot of fun there. This is a great place to visit. Top 10 activities to do at Ohio Pile include the Ohio Pile Falls you see here. And uh, in addition, number two, you can explore all the rare plants and fossils. Uh, Ferncliff Peninsula is a great place to check that out. This is one of the deepest gorges in Pennsylvania uh, with the Buckingham Rocks. That's number three. Number four, Brave the River and uh, Middle or Lower uh, Whitewater Rafting. You'll get to see that in a minute. Uh, you can have picnics, number five. 
Uh, Tharp Knob is a real popular place. Number six, spend the night under the stars at Kentucky Campground. We already did that. Seven, start your backpacking trip through Laurel Highlands Hiking Trail. Number eight, bike on the Great Allegheny Passage. Uh, there's lots of trails around there. Number nine, ride the sledding hill when the snow falls. So this thing's open in the winter time too. And number 10, view all the falling waters at Cucumber Run. Um, and then in addition to that, they've got all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, the water slide is pretty famous. Uh, you can sit in the creek bed and ride the waters through two natural water slides in Meadow Run. So uh, get there early. It piles up with a lot of tourists, uh, but Meadow Run is super cool, uh, very similar to the 27 Falls video we did uh, in Dominican Republic. All right, we're going to do some whitewater rafting yeah. with some of our Class B friends over there. And we're gonna do some uh, class threes and three pluses. And we got, uh, what's your name now? Joel. Joel. Joel Means. Joel Means, and he's gonna tell us all about the river. First thing, how do you pronounce the river? The river is pronounced Yakagani. It means river that flows in a roundabout course. The Shawnee, Iroquois, and Delaware Indians were indigenous to these ridges at one point in time, and they named the river. Wow, that's super cool. And then tomorrow we're going to have a, a nice raft, and we're all in paddles, correct? That's correct. And then how long a trip is that? You're going to be on the water somewhere in between three and four hours. Okay. Fully guided trip that you're going to run in the morning. You're going to check in at 9, you'll hit the water at 10, you'll be off somewhere right around 1 o'clock, a little before. No kidding. Now you're in the town of Ohio Pilot. Right. And people don't understand why Ohio Pile is in Pennsylvania. Okay. And it's a name that is derived off of the waterfall, which is Ohioopoly. And it's what the Indians used to refer to as the waterfall here in town. Okay. And Ohioopoly means water whitened by froth. Nice. So, the, so Ohio Pile is just the English interpretation of what the Indians were saying. Okay. Okay. Very cool. Now, how long have you guys had this business? How long have you I been doing rafts? My wife and I started this business in 1991. No kidding. That's fantastic. Wow. I've been guiding here since 1980. Wow. So this is the real deal. We should have him on as our guide tomorrow. Yeah, what are you, you yeah. How come I you're know. not guiding I, us, I, huh? I come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, you could just the oldest. I'm you, not the best anymore. If you've been guiding since '80, you know where all the trout are, everything. I so know, I know where everything is. <laughs> no, that is awesome. And you can give us all the secrets before we leave. Before you leave. Uh, so, so, in I, the name I, of yeah. for everybody back home, I'll give you a little opportunity to shout out. How do they get a hold of you guys? Your phone number, your website. This is Ohio Pal Trading Post and River Tours. So our number is 724-329-1450. We are HiapalTradingPost.com right. is, is uh, how you get in touch with us. Go on, check out our website. Check us out on YouTube, Instagram. Uh, you know, we, we got a lot of video footage out there of us. We run all three sections of the Yakagani. Okay. We do the upper, the middle, and the lower. The upper is a class four and five advanced section of river. Okay, steepest white water commercially rafted on the east coast of the United States. We also have the middle. More, more difficult than the gully? And more the, difficult than, than the, the gully. upper gully? The upper gully is the steepest big volume water on the east coast. It drops 70 feet per mile. Right, right. Okay, well, the upper yacht drops 116 feet per mile. Wow. You run four to five, uh, class four and five rapids for, for almost five miles. Numerous class four and five well it's a great if great i know trip. if i knew you had that i would have uh taken a leche on that i'm fine let's go yeah that's yeah. a good way of uh <laughs> no all right so that's the upper section so the upper. Then well, we i'll be back for that i love rafting so i didn't know you guys said that we then go to the middle yacht which is the nine mile flat float scenic section Great way to spend the day. And of the three sections of river we run, it's by far the most scenic. Class one and two, great for kids, great for fishing. It's a trophy trout section of river. What? Okay. Look then at the that. lower Yakagani begins here in a high pop below the waterfall, which is directly across from our outfitter store. That's how you can find us on Negley Street in Ohio Pile. Find the waterfall and you'll find the new blue rafts. You'll find a high pile trading post. So then we run the lower Yakagani. We put in below the waterfall, which is where you're going tomorrow. Yep. And we're going to run raft seven and a half miles downstream to Bruner Run Takeout. 
solid class three intermediate white water. Not real advanced, not real easy, somewhere in the middle. Okay. Um, great section of river, very swimmable. All the rapids are swimmable with a life jacket on. It's a lot of fun. That is awesome. Thanks so much. I mean, that's, I didn't realize you had that kind of variety of whitewater here. That's it's, it's all fantastic. Right here. This yeah. is where whitewater rafting started on the East Coast of the United States. Yeah, you got the Frank Lloyd Wright, uh, you know, build uh, homes. You got the state park. You got oh. the rafting. This is a pretty nice area. I know one thing. You will see us again for the number four and for the trout. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll do the whole damn river going yeah. forward. <laughs> Good deal. All right. Yes. Hey, thanks so much. Really appreciate it. And we look forward to tomorrow. And thanks for doing the interview. Yeah, no problem. So, Lily, uh, you were telling me over there that you're actually much better at this than your father when it comes to oh. wrapped in the rivers. And, uh, and now, you're, now your dad is here, and I just realized it's, you, you know, you're, this is actually your father. So, Dad, I mean, is that true? Has Lily got you outdone on these fours and fives? Well, or? listen, uh, Lily can do it all. Here. <laughs> So that's awesome. It's great to see a family business, especially these days. So yeah. that's awesome. I don't think I can beat him with rafting. No? no. He's still the best. Yeah. He's still the best? He's still number one. Yep. He's still number one. All oh, right. Rich. All right. You guys ready to do some white water rafting? Always. All right. Let's do it. Tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Ready. You ready to do some rafting? Yes, I am. Are you ready? All right, you sure you know how to do this? No, but I will learn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. All right, we got two veterans right here, Aliche. Take, the, take a listen to this. These guys have been coming here 30, 40 years. They got more experience than the guides. So uh, what's the names? What's the names of where are you guys from? Brandon, and I'm from uh, Oakmont, Pennsylvania. Ah, cool. And I'm Bill, and I'm from the Poconos. So you guys been coming that long, huh? We have. Yeah, pretty and then, much forever. And then do you camp out here, or where do, where do you usually stay? Like, uh, Not necessarily. Sometimes we come from a, we're coming from a YMCA camp right now. Okay. All right. And then have you done all sections of the river, or is there a particular section you like? or? I have. I've done all sections. Um, but with the family, this is a great ride. Okay. Sure. All right. your kids as well. They're going to love it. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, well, let's go have some fun, you guys. Hey, All right, let's do it. How you doing? Good luck. Good luck. Yakagini River is really amazing whitewater boating for all experience levels. Um, you've got rafts, kayaks, closed deck canoes, uh, all of these can be used on the river um, and the river levels can change the difficulty of the rapids by season for sure. But the famous lower yak begins after the Opio Pile Falls and flows seven miles downstream to the Brunner run takeout. This is the busiest section of the white water east of the Mississippi River. Ohio Pile does have a few rules. Number one, no motorized watercraft allowed on the river. Um, in fact, there's no inner tube, body boards, surfboards, or air mattresses of any type that you can use going down the river. The other thing is you cannot have any glass container whatsoever um, on the river. So those are some important rules that uh, you may not be aware of. <laughs> Who put all these rocks in here? Oh, five guys. I'm 
Incredible whitewater rafting. The upper Yakagini has the class 5 plus advance. As we talked about, the middle having the beginner 1 and 2. And then on the lower Yakagini, you've got these class 3 and 4, which we're going through now, which is your intermediate. The season is from March to October, and this is just a fantastic area to raft. <laughs> Lots of great websites. Rafting.com is a great one that uh, kind of goes through the overall Yakagini River rafting area. Um, I highly recommend that. And clearly when you hit Google, you can see how many different rafting guides there actually are. Whitewaters Adventures, Ohio Pile Trading Post and River Tours, the Wilderness Voyagers Rafting and Bike Tours. Uh, you know, you've got a ton of different companies to take advantage of in this area and as you can see from the map on the right there are just a ton of them all good ratings great competition there so everybody does a great job with the service and uh, i think you'll be super happy with any rafting you do on the yak Oh, <laughs> 
Perfect. <laughs> Most of the rafting trips have a halfway point where everyone jumps out, have some lunch or some type of activity. Here you'll see that we found us a special rock to jump off of, probably about 14, 15 feet into the river, and we had a blast. Check it out. I think you'll enjoy this. Step on each support beam. And just step on the beams so you don't slip down to the beams. Yep. Oh, this is awesome. I like that. Oh, yeah. Even though Look I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder he likes this job. So we're all going to jump off of this section over here. Ah, went in the wrong direction. I have no problem if you want to. Where are we going? Right here? We're gonna, you can go off of here or you can go off of up here. Well, I'm going to. You, how do you want to do it? This is you the best spot right here. Right here? Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys. Yeah. Uh, and uh, do I go after you or I you wait for your signal? Thing. We gotta do a little jump. Yep. Look out at that red tree. Jump out to it. Alright, here we go guys. You ready? Yay! Well done, dude! You made it. You survived. <laughs> you made it, Deb. Huh? I did. You made it. <laughs> I feel exhausted. I didn't do it. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this video from the Ohio Pile State Park, one of the best state parks in the entire country. You've got hiking, you've got biking, you've got fishing, you've got camping, you've got a little bit of everything if you love the outdoors. We highly recommend to check out this wonderful state park. 
please subscribe. It means a lot to the whole How to Have Fun Outdoor crew. Helps the videos grow. Get the word out on work-life balance. Get outside. Have some fun. And thank you so much for watching this video. And please hit the like button. And thanks once again for watching How to Have Fun Outdoors. <laughs>